and welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to load shapefile in QJS. So there are around three methods for adding shapefile in QJS. So let me show you one by one. So you can see on the left hand corner, you can see the browser panel over here. If you don't find this browser panel, right click on this empty space. On the top under panels, you can find the option browser panels. You can use the browser panel to add your shapefiles. Uh, for example, here you can see I have kept my shapefile in D drive. You can click on this uh, arrow and you can see the subfolders. You can see there are a lot of subfolders. Under that I have uh, kept my shapefiles in a particular folder. So here I have kept my folders. And these are my shapefiles. So let me add this shapefile. You can directly drag it and drop it on the map canvas or you can directly drag it and uh, add it to the layer section. So likewise you can add the uh, shape file. This is one of the method. So if you if you want to add a multiple shape files, let me show you how to do that. For example, if you need to add multiple shape files, you can press the button control and you can select the shape file one by one and you can add the shape file. So likewise you can select it using you can uh, select it using control button and directly drag it and put it into the layer bar layer panel. Likewise you can add the data. So likewise you can add the data and uh, this is the one of the method for adding the shapefile in QJS. So let me show you some more method in this. Let me remove these files. So this is the second method which I am going to show you. So on the top you can find the option layer and select the layer and select the option add layer select the button add vector layer so once you have selected it you can find the source type file directory database protocols so in this uh, example so we are going to select shape file for that we are going to use file and now you can see a button over here browse button select the browse button you can uh, go to the place where you have saved your files where you have kept your uh, or you, where you have kept your shape files you can go and you can find your shape files over here. So here, for adding the shape file, you need to. You can see the uh, in the boundary itself there are uh, around. Uh, you can see around it is uh, around uh, five. Uh, sorry, four types is available. So in that we should select always select SHP file type. Please do keep it in mind. If you select some other file type, it won't be opening. You can see here under the type we, we, need, we need to select SHP type and let me add some more data. So this is the road shape file. So here also we need to select the SHP by using the control button. Select the SHP and finally we are going to add the household. So in that also uh, use the control button and select the SHP file type. So we have selected three, file three files and we hit the button open so you can see here boundary household and road these are the selected shape files now let me add it using the add button so the files has been added just close this file option now you can see here the file has been added so this is one of the method I'll be showing another method you can see an option over here data source manager toolbar if you don't find this uh, data source manager toolbar you can just uh, right click on this empty space and you can come down to the option toolbars where you can see the data source manager toolbar over here you can enable it and use this button you can see over here you can just click it and you can find there are a lot of file types are available so in this case we are going to use vector file type so vector is also called as shape file. So we are going to use the vector file type. 
and hit the option browse button once again we are going to select it select the only files which is having the file type as shp so we are going to select that file alone and we are going to add it so in this case we are going to add another file so you can see shp shp over here hit the button open add it close the dialog box zoom to layer yeah. so likewise you can add the shape files or load the shape files in QGIS so if you have any other doubts in this please do ask in the comment section I will be answering to your questions thanks for watching Terra special thanks for listening goodbye everyone